Hello and welcome to this presentation of Mobile to Sage. My name is Omar Martirosian. I'm going to show you how Mobile to Sage can free you and your staff from your back office systems. I'll give you a little background to the service, how it works, what the potential uses are, a couple of screenshots and a live demonstration of a pool care scenario that I've set up. Users want to be mobile. And what uh, they want is uh, something that's easy to use and quick to set up. Problem here is a back office system because back office systems are not designed to work with mobile devices. Also, there are very different types of mobile devices and the user needs to be able to work both offline and online using a 3G or Wi-Fi system. And also, you need to have user defined processes. So uh, it needs to be pretty flexible. So mobile to Sage, how does it work? Well, it covers the points above in three easy steps. First of all, we set up the business process and that normally takes us a day or two. You pick your mobile device and we then integrate the data that's been captured during your business process to your back office system. So my scenario is going to be uh, creating an invoice in Sage 50, but it could integrate to uh, Sage 100, 200, 500, 1000, in fact, any system that allows uh, import of export of data. So what about potential uses? Well, it could be any business process, financial or otherwise. In my scenario, uh, I'm going to be generating an invoice in Sage 50, but uh, you could use the business process to create a new customer, generate invoices, check prices, see if the account's on hold and so on. You can define your own screens, your own fields, your own logic, and uh, you can even capture things like signatures, photos and audio, depending on your mobile device. And having set it up, you can then access it from your desktop browser, uh, which uses HTML5, something like Safari, which is what I'm going to use for my presentation today. In terms of devices, it works on iPhones, iPads, uh, Palm, Windows mobile devices like symbol scanners on the right hand side here, uh, as well as uh, Android phones and devices. And in terms of the look and feel, well, it depends on the device that you're going to be using. So in this particular case, I'm using a mobile iPhone and uh, you can see things like uh, the tumblers, which is just the standard look and feel of the device. And the objective for me is to produce an invoice in Sage. And uh, here's a Sage 50 invoice on the left hand side, which can then obviously be uh, PDF and emailed off. So let's have a look at our scenario. So the idea here is that uh, we have an engineer or set of engineers on the road and the head office decides uh, their schedule uh, and sends those out to the mobile device of the engineer. The engineer then uh, attends the site, carries out various different tasks like checking the pH value of the pool and uh, he then will use consumables during his visit that need to be invoiced out to the customer. So in this particular case, he's going to add some bromine tablets to the pool and uh, he will then get the customer to sign it to say he was satisfied with the service he's received and uh, the head office then uh, invoice that out using Sage 50 and uh, assign him some further jobs. So let's have a quick look at that. It's a Safari showing the business processes that the engineer has access to and in this particular case he has three the pool care system uh, customer capture and customer lookup so if we have a look at the pool care system he doesn't currently have one associated with him so what I'll do is with the back office system I'll then uh, assign him one and I'll uh, get him to go and just uh, replicate and he do that uh, at the start of the day or uh, at the end of the day when he wants to push the stuff back up and that's user definable. So let's go and have a look and see if he's been associated with anything. Yep, he's been allocated a job to go and see Malcolm Leverett at One The Street. There's our uh, corporate logo. And I can then just click next to go to the next screen. Or I could press back to navigate my way along, uh, which is dead simple. And on that screen, I'm showing the customer details in terms of who they are, where they are. And this particular customer has a gold pool contract. So he will get the top level service. I can also put on there things like uh, the Sage information, like which account references he's got, whether he's on hold and so on. On the next screen, I can capture the start date, 10.36, and he's going to finish at 11.40. And uh, he's going to carry out various different tasks. So again, these are all user definable and uh, very intuitive. So the first thing he's going to do is he's going to check the pump filter and he's going to say OK. And then the next thing he's going to do is he's going to uh, check the pH value of the pool and he's going to find that to be a little bit low and having done that uh, he went and added some bromine tablets so on the next screen he's got the consumables that he's going to use and again all of this is user definable and he's going to add 10 bromine tablets dead simple 
very quick, very easy. And uh, the system will now just uh, uh, calculate how much that's uh, going to cost the customer so that the customer doesn't get a big shock when the uh, invoice arrives. And there it is. It's uh, 519 pounds 20 pence, uh, made up of uh, net VAT and gross, as shown on the screen. And again, all of these screens are uh, definable. And uh, I can now just get the customer to sign the screen to say that they're happy with that service. And that's it. That signifies the job is now completed and can be uh, sent back up to the um, uh, head office for uh, invoicing. So I'll just click on replicate. And uh, that's it. That's the job done. And I can now then go off to the remote system, which has got my Sage system on it. There it is. So the last invoice that I uh, imported was 128. And what I'll do now is just clear that out and go to mobile to Sage and log on to that system. And uh, that will now connect to Sage and it will say that uh, we've got some product invoices to import. So I'll click on that. And there it is, very quick. So it's now finished loading the information and I'll now disconnect from Sage and exit. So when I go to the invoice list, I can see I've now got a new one called 129 and I can print that and uh, have a preview of it uh, to see uh, what needs to be done. And uh, there it is. So let's preview that particular invoice. And uh, I can see immediately uh, that uh, it was invoice number 129. It started at 10.36. It ended at 11.35. The mobile to Sage ID was 10,031 and the account code was a red IT1. And I can see uh, there were 10 bromine tablets and I tested the pH level, which was low. I tested the pump filter, which was OK. And it was 519 pounds, 20 pence. Dead simple. So what I've done is I've uh, tailored my business process, captured various different fields and uh, manipulated my back office system with the data that was captured. So I hope you found that presentation of interest. Thank you very much for your time and uh, please feel free to contact me on aura at mobileartisage.co.uk uh, and uh, I hope uh, we can uh, help you to mobilize your workforce and free you from your back office systems. Thank you.